along with Hitman's bodyguard, you sat down with two of the coolest people on the planet. I've said it a million times. I can think of very few people cooler than Samuel L. Jackson and Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, I was a little intimidated at first, but uh, they were actually amazing. And I have to say, they were one of the best and most fun interviews I've ever had because they just, they have so much fun together. Normally, I would say, don't take your personal agenda into the room, but you did, <laughs> and it crushed. Take a look. I haven't laughed this hard in a film, and I don't remember how long. So you guys should do more Last week, together. when you went to see Girl Trip. There you go. Actually, yeah, that movie was really funny. Yeah, see, I mean, uh, <laughs> but besides uh, uh, that, besides uh, 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 that one and this one, I haven't laughed that hard in a long time. Okay, good. So I have to know, who handles a gun better? Who handles a gun better? Between this man you two. Does. This man handles a gun much better. I'm Canadian. They just burn. <laughs> yeah. well, I've been playing with guns since I was a kid. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Give me a slingshot or a, maybe a traffic pylon. No problem. All right. Good to know. Yeah. I'll take yeah. a note of that. Yeah. A stone. Yeah, a stone, a stone. of course, stone right? Curling, a little Christmas curling. Scene. Yeah, right. <laughs> and you guys have that intense, insanely cool gunslinging little number, the little choreographed scene you guys yeah. have. Can mm -hmm. you talk about that when your characters first realize they're going to be working with one another? That was also our first well, day. That was the first day of work. Yeah. yeah and so. how many takes did that take you? And how much fun was it? No. Uh, 10, 12, yeah, yeah. we did 10, it for 12. a while. Because you got to do it around this way, you got to do it right way, and then they got to shoot down on your hands, yeah. and they got to shoot behind you. And you have to do it the same every And then we had to go against the wall, day. and back against the wall, and down the hall, so mm -hmm. that's stuff. During this movie, I laughed pretty much every single scene. How much of that was improv, and how many things were in the script? Boy, I, you know, the, the script used to be very serious. It was mm -hmm. When I first got it, it was like a straight-laced action drama. And then... Uh, and then there, through a lot of evolution, it became what it is now. And, and uh, so a lot of it was on the page by the time we were shooting our first day. It was kind of, yeah. the roadmap was there. But you always throw in improv. Every yeah. actor improvs. You get there, and, you know, you say around. something, he'll, 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 he'll say something, and I'll say something that's not on the page. And it's kind of <laughs> like, oh, that's better than what was on the page. Or he'll say something that's not on the page, and we'll kind of evolve into that. Okay, now I have the last, most serious question. Are you ready? Ready. So your character finds true love in this film with Sonia, your wife, yeah. and you both have very enviable relationships with your wives in real life. So I've been with my boyfriend a little over six and a half years, mm -hmm. and he's a little gun shy. So what are a couple words of encouragement or motivation, like proposal ideas, anything you can bring up? Proposal ideas? Yeah, he's a little gun shy. You guys are both married. You have so marriage and love shy. in this movie. Give him know. some advice. I say he better get to it or you're going to get to step in. Six and a half years is right? a yeah. long time. She ain't going to wear <laughs> Six and a half years, she ain't going to wear it. I lived with my wife 10 years before I married her. Oh, don't say that. That's not going to help me. I'm just, I'm just giving you what's real. You know, and 10 at, years? At the, at the 10th year, you just have some wedding invitations printed with his name on them, and you send them out to his family and your friends and tell them, fucking better be yeah. there. Yeah. But won't that make me seem crazy? No? Uh, no. no. It'll right. make you seem like, like you've been there 10 ultimatum. years and you've had a fucking enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I like that. I'll yeah. show him this. Yeah. I'll tell him you guys are going to check up if he you. doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of what happened to mine.